Buckeye Cable System does provide our home with good service. Neutral to indifferent. I don't have a lot of skin in the game as a viewer. No one's holding Buckeye to the fire to explain their decisions and their choices. There was a wide range of opinions from those at Monday night's town hall, where Buckeye subscribers had a chance to talk directly with Barry Faber, an executive vice president with Sinclair Broadcast Group that has been negotiating with the cable company over how much money they must pay to carry Toledo's NBC station in their lineup. The prior owners of WNWO, which was sold to Sinclair last November, charged Buckeye 24 cents per subscriber, a number Sinclair argues is extremely low. But Buckeye pays for a lot of programming that's much less popular than WNWO, that the price we're charging is very fair. With negotiations still ongoing, Faber would not provide specific details, but he did tell the audience that WNWO's programming was worth somewhere closer to $2 per subscriber. He also noted that not all of that money goes to WNWO, but to NBC. But not everyone was satisfied with Faber's answers. You're basically dealing with the big major network, NBC. Translation, you're dealing with a bunch of butt brains in New York. We share the money with the networks. It's what allows the networks to have shows like the NFL football on you know, Sunday Night Football and, and The Voice and to, to create a show like Blacklist. While many were appreciative of Monday's town hall, most of their opinions remain the same at its conclusion. I happen to disagree strongly with many of his points. There's a stalemate, it's a haggle, it's, a, it's bargaining. I'm not sure that it's a true negotiation. Buckeye is a maverick independent company that is not playing by the general rules of the cable television industry. Joe Thompson, WNWO.